Two weeks in the Lone Star State is just not enough for the South by Southwest Multimedia Conference. Now, sponsors of the event are holding a second version right here in the Valley. News 3's Jerry Brown went to check it out. Behind my back here at the Cosmopolitan, Zappos CEO Tony Shea is in a question and answer session with young entrepreneurs from around the country. Most local Las Vegans are familiar with the Zappos narrative, the move from California to Henderson and then the relocation and attempt to revitalize downtown Las Vegas. But for many of the people attending this South by Southwest conference, the subject is new. The Zappos CEO narrated his company's story to a packed ballroom and articulated his vision for the future of downtown Las Vegas. Conference attendee Phil Simon, a local author and speaker, sees events like South by Southwest as a stepping stone for changing the image of our city. But what about doing some things with culture and technology? So Las Vegas probably won't be supplanting Silicon Valley as startup hub of the country anytime soon, but it is interesting to see this sort of burgeoning tech ecosystem evolve. Shea told conference attendees his reason for relocating Zappos to our valley. The original reason was just because we wanted to build the Zappos brand around customer service and nobody in the Bay Area wanted to do customer service as a career, uh, whereas Vegas is a 24-7 city, service focused. Tomorrow, Steve Case takes the podium. All here at the South by Southwest Conference at the Cosmopolitan. Jerry Brown, back to the studio. Very nice. I'm glad South by Southwest is branching out to Las Vegas. Hopefully this, it'll be a hit. This whole tech startup thing is really starting to gain some steam. Yeah, it really is. Yep. We um, had a very beautiful 